there are a few key measures that we should include in our laws, policies, strategies, and plans to help address disaster displacement, both to prevent it and to meet the needs of displaced people. Our disaster risk reduction policies should specifically consider displaced people and identify them as particularly vulnerable. To address their vulnerabilities, we need to understand displacement by collecting data. Our policies should also assign roles and responsibilities for displacement prevention, preparedness, response, and recovery. In each phase, people will need to coordinate with other sectors like climate change, migration, health and education, and with local authorities. Our policies should be clear on how this will be done. Setting up a coordinating committee can help us make sure everyone knows who is responsible for what at each stage. To fulfill these responsibilities, stakeholders will need to have adequate capacity and resources. This should be written into our policies too. It may be useful to have a focal point to coordinate between different sectors as well as different parts of society and, importantly, engage with displaced people and people at risk of displacement. Meaningfully engaging with displaced people and those at risk should include determining what they need to ensure resources are available. This will empower displaced people to find their own solutions. It will also strengthen our policies, like including measures to protect property left behind. Our policies should also establish criteria for when it is justified to move a whole community by way of planned relocation to a new area. Before doing so, we need to ensure long-term resources and involve people in all decisions and actions that affect them. These measures should be included in our existing laws, policies, strategies and plans of all relevant sectors. We can also improve our governance by making sure that existing programs to reduce disaster risk include people already displaced or those at risk of being displaced.